All right, then I won't take it. But to help me understand exactly where you're coming from, why don't you explain it to me again? Because without free will, I would sin even more than I do with free will. Yeah, but I also said that without free will, you wouldn't technically be sinning. Yeah, but me choosing to get rid of my free will now is like knocking over the first domino of all the sins that will come after I get rid of my free will. Sounds like you're in quite the predicament then, aren't you? Yes, and you put me in it! Now, no matter what I do, I'll be wrong. If I keep my free will, I'll be sinning, and if I get rid of it, I mean, if you take it away, I'll be sinning then too. Yeah, I get it. I too am in that boat, my friend. See, all I want to do is help you, but you're, you're like a stone wall. I'm, if I, you want me to take away your free will, it's gone. And if you don't want me to, you can keep it as long as you like, but it doesn't look like you, I can really help you now, does it? I guess not. You know, this whole thing really isn't my fault, so why are you so angry with me? For putting me in such a horrible predicament in the first place! But you just said that there was nothing I could do to help you. Oh, well, now you can't help me, but that doesn't mean you couldn't help me before. Honestly, what could I have done? Obviously, you should have never given it to me in the first place! Now that you've given it to me, everything's like, ah! But you should have never have given it to me in the first place. Oh, I'm sorry. Why shouldn't I have given it to you in the first place? Because then I've never been able to sit at all! Come on, Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, did somebody call me? No, no, no one's talking to you, I'm sorry. Did you f go put away your Legos and, and then go brush your teeth, okay? I already put them away. Well, did you brush your teeth? I was gonna do it right now, but you distracted me. I'm sorry, big guy. All right, th then go do it and then pick out a book you want. And I'll be in there shortly, all right? Okay, hurry up. Ah, <sighs> it goes up so fast. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot you were there. What were you saying? Oh, well, what I was gonna say was, do you or do you not agree that it was a bad idea to give me free will? All right, we're gonna have to figure this out together. Let's review your little problem. You don't want free will because with free will you can sin and you don't want to sin. Although if you really didn't want to sin in the first place, you wouldn't, but anyways, if you gave up free will, then you would be responsible for all the horrible things you would do in the future. So really, I should never have given you free will in the first place. Exactly! I understand how you feel. You know, you're not the only person in the world that feels this way, though. You guys should start a little support group. You could talk about how I hold you guys responsible for all your actions, and how that you have to live up to some some contract that you guys never agreed to in the first place. Exactly, like the damn water company. I understand how you feel completely, yes, yes, but I don't think you truly understand what the issue here is. L let, me, let me show you what this is. I'm gonna enlighten you. You're gonna, I'm gonna open your mind. You'll see everything on this. It'll even, it'll even get rid of your regret of the whole free will thing. And to prove my point, let me, let me do this. I'm going to recreate a new universe, a whole new space-time continuum, a new world. Like this world? Kind of, let me finish. And in this new world will be a mortal, just like you, that will be born, except maybe with lighter eyes. Now, hey, you should make them be able to fly. W what In that new world, they should be able to fly there, because we can't fly here in this world. All right, so wait, like angels? No, like, like Peter Pan. Okay, fine, yes, done. But this new mortal, this new you that will be born, I can give him free will or not, so what would you like me to do? Don't give him free will! Oh, okay, okay, calm down. All right, I won't give him free will, but you do realize that this new you will commit all kinds of horrible acts. Now, so what? They won't be sins, because he doesn't have free will. You could call them apples if you wanted to. They're still horrible acts, and they will hurt a lot of living creatures. Oh my god! You did it again! Now if I let you create that new awesome flying guy with no free will, that'll do all these terrible things, he won't be sinning, but I'll be sinning for giving you the green light to do it. Well now, uh, I'll do you one better, okay? I've already decided whether or not to make this new world with this new creature on it. And I'm going to write my decision here on this piece of paper. And 
I'm not going to show it to you until later. But I already made my decision. It's, it's, abs it's absolute. Right? You can't change it. I wrote it in, in 4B lead, and that's pretty dark. There's nothing you can do to change it. It's already, I already made the decision. It's all on me. So just relax, breathe, and I honestly want to know which, which way do you hope I've already decided? Tell me. Don't give him free will. Very interesting. I removed your last hurdle. If I don't give him free will, then no one here is sinning. So why do you hope that I gave him his free will? Because the important point here is sin or no sin, well, if you don't give him free will, according to you, he'll just go around hurting people. And I don't want to see anybody get hurt. <sighs> yes, at last! You're finally seeing the point. What are you talking about, God? That sinning is not the issue. The important thing here is that no one gets hurt. But why do you think I gave you free will in the first place? Why would you think I would know that? All I've been saying is that you shouldn't have given it to us, but it's like, I guess it's like my grandma always says, without free will, we couldn't earn the right to eternal life. Well, that's funny. You know, I have eternal life. Do you think I've done anything to earn it? Of course not. With you, it's, it's different. You're already Mr. Good and Perfect, supposedly. You don't even have to earn eternal life. Well now, that kind of moves me up a peg, doesn't it? I'm, I'm kind of in a inviolable position, aren't I? I don't understand what you are saying to me. Here I am, sitting on cloud nine, feeling fine. Well, you, down there, all you guys are just working, sweating, struggling, sacrificing, and for what? You don't even know whether I exist or not. You also don't even know if there's even an afterlife. And if there is, where you even come into the picture? No matter how hard you guys try to be good, you don't even know if your best is good enough for me. You know, I'm set for life. Don't you ever envy me for this? But that's blasphemous. Are you serious? Who do you think you're talking to right now? You're not talking to some Sunday school teacher. You're talking to me here. The important question is not if it's okay for you to be envious of me, it's whether you are or not. So, are you? Well, damn straight I am. Good. Sure as hell should be with the way you look at the world. But with a dash of vision and a sprinkle of light, you will no longer look at it that way. You really do think that your life is one big test, don't you, to see if you earn eternal life. But what really gets to me is that if you really believe that I'm as good as I'm cracked up to be, why do I require people to work for happiness and eternal life? Why don't I just give it to them? But I've been taught that your job is to make sure that the goodness be rewarded with happiness and the evil be punished with pain. Looks like someone's been taught wrong. But what about all the religious books, like, for example, that Jonathan Edwards book, The Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God? It, it, like, describes you holding all the sinners over, like, a flaming pit of hell. Like, what a terrible example to use. Look at the title of that book, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. First of all, I'm never angry. Second, I do not think at all in terms of sin. And third, I don't even have any enemies. What do you mean by that? That there's no one that you hate or there's no one that hates you? I mean both, my confused friend. That's ridiculous. I know people that have said that they hate you. You know, sometimes I've even hated you. No, you mean you've hated your image of me. It's not the same thing as really hating me. Are you saying that it's okay to hate your image, but it's not okay to hate, like, you? You? Exactly. What I'm not saying 